my journey began in um, in exploring what and how we understand the environmental crisis in India. And I did a very interesting course uh, during my master's um, in Azeev Premji University um, on ecological justice in India. And uh, it kind of changed my perspective of how I was looking at several issues. Ecology was my interest area, but looking at the intersections of social justice, environmental justice was quite important and crucial for me. And then um, during the university days, I also attended some really inspiring conversations and of one of the founding members of the organization that I'm currently working at. Um, and that kind of changed my perspective and gave me a bit of hope and interest in what I wanted to do. Um, so my first uh, work began with working on small hydropower projects and their impact on rivers and local communities. Um, and soon it moved uh, to work then on specifically on environment and conservation issues. And I joined a group called Kalpavriksh, which is based in uh, Pune. And uh, it was around December 2015 when, the, when my work began there. Um, my work uh, at the moment uh, and the journey that I did uh, during my, uh, my work in Kalpavriksh was around uh, documenting, researching, and networking around alternatives. Um, alternatives basically means that all the inspiring work that is happening across India where communities are trying to respond to the crisis and find solutions to the crisis. How do we uh, document these inspiring stories from across the world, uh, uh, across India? How do we bring them together? How do we create spaces of collaboration, sharing, learning, um, a space to collectively interchange ideas and also critically engage with each other cross-sectorally and intersectionally? And then what does it mean to envision new futures, uh, futures that are sustainable, equal, equal just, um, and that able to actually make basic needs of several of people. So my work began uh, and I saw help in coordinating uh, a process called Vikalp Sangam, Alternative Confluence, that tries to bring together several of these inspiring processes, initiatives, organizations from across India together. And while we were in this process, um, it has also uh, began internationally. So I help in coordinating another process called Global Tapestry of Alternatives that is trying to weave networks of alternatives across the world um, to create synergies and solidarity networks um, in different parts of the world. Um, and during this process, because I worked uh, with several communities who are in the face of a lot of resistance uh, and massive onslaught on their territories are also coming up with transformative processes of changing socio-economic, political dimensions of their life. Um, I got uh, interested in documenting several of those processes and I think as a student uh, and as a young person, my journey of working with these communities was really inspiring because it was then when I was working with people, I realized how despite so much challenges that they are facing, they continue to resist, they continue to struggle and also continue to celebrate, have fun and enjoy and rejoice life. Um, so while I was in the university and trying to figure out what I do and feeling very restless and also very confused about what can happen in life, it was when I went to the communities and worked with them that I realized that there's so much uh, possibilities uh, for as a young person to actually do and support some of these uh, groundwork and struggles. Um, and so that was where I got a lot of inspiration and hope. And I have been documenting several of these processes of community governance, self-governance, and what does it mean in today's time when there's also a lot of modern governance institutions coming up. So how do those interactions happen? And um, in that context also, uh, trying to understand that as all of you, you, as all humans have right to live and exist, so does the rest of nature. So if we really want to protect nature, there has to be a fundamental shift in our colonial extractive mindset. So uh, working towards uh, granting rights uh, of nature and rivers 
uh, which is also why I was here at the university doing a presentation on some of my work. So uh, my request to all the students and I would urge several of the students who have been interested or uh, working on environment issues or generally development studies is that go out on the field, work with people, work with communities, which is where actual learning really happens. Um, it is when you work with people, you realize that there's so much happening on the ground. Um, all, the, all the important stuff that we read uh, during the classes really actualizes when we are in the field. And it is quite uh, rewarding and uh, when we are working with people because that's when we can really give back in some ways what we get from them.